Okay, great. All right, let us move on now to the five uh, simple secrets to thrive in the hybrid uh, working world. Oh, we got another comment. Um, now new behaviors are emerging that make the trauma ongoing. Yes, that's a very interesting um, a comment there, Deborah. Okay, so the first uh, secret, ta-da! Um, and yes, the picture is obscured purposefully uh, because we are still in a kind of, um, you know, feeling our way through this um, hybrid working world and it's not quite there yet and still constantly evolving. Um, oh, more comments. So Louise says, for example, to start with, I wasn't bothered about being isolated because I'd worked for myself um, for a long time, but now I'm in a social interaction of the office environment. Yes, um, new behaviors. Some people try to ignore it and don't test. Yes, others are still stressed and impacted and creating an uncomfortable workplace. Yes, exactly. Um, and this is the point that there's a, there's a, um, a spectrum of people's um, beliefs and attitudes um, to what is happening now in the world. And it's also directed by um, you know, government and national policy. Um, so we have to be um, mindful that everyone is in a different place, in different space, but also um, as organizations and systems and companies, we need to be um, clear about, you know, how we're operating and how we, we think it's best for our people to operate um, and to talk to them about of that practice um, and procedure um, and to, to you know, make sure people feel consulted and have different ways to be able to comply because obviously, you know, it's a very complex situation that we're in. Uh, Mm, seems like a hybrid of behaviors and attitudes too. Yes, for sure, for sure. Okay, so um, the number one thing here is um, own your hybrid working boundaries. So what does that mean? Um, so, you know, with the hybrid working world, we have to be uh, organized, we've got to plan ahead, and we have to keep clear boundaries. So what, what, in regards to what? So working hours, it's so easy, especially working from, from home to be always on, um, and to have those um, notifications be very invasive and overwhelming and stressful. Um, that's why point number two is daily digital uh, detox. So, um, you know, use the settings on your mobiles um, and your laptops for digital well-being. Um, the mobile phones now, most smartphones have digital well-being settings, which you can use to varying degrees um, and according to your, need, your needs. So please do investigate them if you haven't already done so. Um, and finally, which is really important, and I know that sounds like, you know, super simple, but um, downtime between meetings really uh, helps you to be um, more productive um, and to survive uh, in the hybrid working world. So that is number one. Number two, uh, say communication, communication, communication. Um, yes, yeah, so I've shown this picture of this lady uh, who's got a baby and she's obviously on, on the phone. Um, and she's probably talking to her colleague and she's you know probably involved in some kind of a teleconference. Um, but the point here is that um, people's situations um, during um, COVID have uh, changed. Um, they, they're probably doing uh, a lot of different things on the home front, whether it's childcare, um, elder care, um, pet care, whatever. Um, but we all need to be um, communicating um, in an open and transparent uh, manner so that we can let you know about, you know, how we're feeling about our workload, our mental and physical health. Um, but also the fact is, you know, if we are not being in the office and being visible, we have to talk about the work that we're doing. So it's um, making sure that we have that vis visibility um, mindset so that the work that you're doing at home um, is known about, even if it's not being seen. Okay, number three. I know that I certainly have had moments when I've been on a call, um, whether that's a mobile call or whether that's a, a video call and it's dropped dead. <laughs> you know, uh, so I definitely recommend investing in your tech um, and the things that you have control over in the tech sphere. So, um, you know, upgrade your laptop or mobile if that's something that you need to do. Um, upgrade your broadband again if that's something you need to do. And sound quality is so important um, because it's really just distracting. People can't hear you properly. Um, or there's a lot of background noise um, where you are. I mean, it just sort of, um, you know, doesn't allow for as, as, as effective uh, communication. So definitely um, invest in those tools and that will definitely help you to thrive because you're not then going to be having to um, try to, uh, to fight to be heard um, or being worried about um, how your device is performing because um, you will know that you have done your very best 